most of you watching this video, including myself that's making this video, we are guilty of this in some fashion. Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. My name is Zenzo from Tozawa Tanks. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because this is something that I come across as far as looking into myself and how I perceive aquariums and then how I see other people perceiving aquariums when I see their comments on YouTube videos or comments in Instagram or more specifically and more recently comments in a forum that I'm part of. And if you wanna interact with me in a forum, I'll put a link below of the forum that I'm in all the time. So if you wanna chat with me at any time, you can just kind of you know find me on the forum. But anyway, um, what I wanna talk about today is patience. I think a lot of us really struggle with patience when it comes to our aquariums. And I'm not a very patient person anyway, so I kinda like things to happen quickly on my time. And when they don't happen, I get a little frustrated. But with aquariums, we can't really act that way. We have to allow nature to take its course, even though these are it's not nature like out in the wild. These are little boxes of nature that we make, but we still need things to take their course and give it time to develop. Now, I think a lot of the problem that we have is our society is kind of a instant gratification society. So when we want to order something online, we expect that delivery to be at our doorstep the next day or the day after. Um, and if it's not there within a couple of days, we're wanting to know where's our order, where's my package. When you uh, you know consume media online, if you're you know watching a movie, you can open your Netflix app or cast it to your TV, and it's right there. Back in the old days. We didn't have that. We'd have to go to the video store, to Blockbuster. You had to go to the movie theater. So we're so accustomed to having things when we want it on our time. And aquariums don't work that way. And I think another problem that we have is things like YouTube, right here. Uh, things like Instagram, Facebook, other social media platforms where you're able to see what other people have done. What you don't realize, or maybe you do realize it, but what a lot of people don't realize is that beautiful aquarium that you see in that photo or on that video, it didn't just you know, happen and get set up within a couple of weeks or a couple of days. It probably took months to get to that point in most cases. So when you see an aquascape aquarium, you think, wow, that's amazing, that's beautiful, I wanna replicate that. What you don't know is they probably planned that months in advance or even longer. They probably drew out you know, designs and probably even shared it with other people to say, hey, what do you think about my design? They you know, get the right hardscape, do a bunch of different variations with no water in the aquarium. Then they'd kind of figure out how they want their hardscape. They'd get the plants. They'd have to transition the plants a lot of times to being submersed. Then they have to let it grow, which can take quite a long time. It probably takes six months or so for the plants to get them to where they can show it. Then they got to do all the trimming and escaping. And then even when they take the video or the photo, they probably spent two or three hours prepping that tank, cleaning the algae, trimming the leaves, all kinds of stuff like that, cleaning up the detritus so that it looks perfect on camera. And when you see it, you think, wow, that looks amazing. Why can't I have something like that? Now, there's no reason why you can't have something like that. You just have to be patient to know that it takes a lot of time and effort and energy to try to replicate something like that. So again, when I'm, when I'm in the forums and I see someone comment about uh, their aquarium and they'll say, you know, I set this, they'll, they'll put a photo of their fish tank and the fish tank looks great and the plants look really good, but they'll put, put a photo up there and they'll say, this is my planted aquarium. It's been running for two months and I'm not happy with the level of growth that I have in my plants. It's not growing the way I expect it to grow. And I look at the, at the tank and I think, wow, that tank looks amazing for being only two months old. Those people don't realize that it takes a lot longer for some of those plants to grow or some of the plants to convert or for them to propagate and spread. So um, in my mind, I think, wow, that's amazing. In their mind, they think it's not ready fast enough. So if you want those results, there are some shortcuts that you can do and some things that you can buy to make it kind of look better right away. But for the most part, you have to really be patient and take your time. The same thing with fish. People will look at some of my cichlids and I've got some really large peacocks that are you know, seven plus inches long and they're giant and they're very beautiful and colorful. But those fish didn't come to me like that. I probably, a lot of them I bred, so they were you know, tiny, tiny little fry. Um, you know two or three plus years ago where I bought them small and grew them out. Lots of water changes, lots of food, um, you know, making sure that they're healthy, good water parameters, and then they grew to that level. So again, it takes time. You're not gonna see some of these results right away. Now, an example that I'm gonna share with all of you today are three of my aquariums in this fish room that I haven't shown you in their current state. 
unless you're like zooming in and you can see them way in the back, you can't really see what's going on. And I haven't made any videos about them. I haven't taken photos of them because they are far, far, far from being where they where I want them to be. In fact, uh, these three aquariums, I actually looked on my phone uh, on when I set them up and because I took some, vi some some phone footage, not from my camera, but just from my phone uh, of when I, you know, when I was like cleaning the, the substrate and getting the plants and everything. And it was late August. It was like August 26th when I started putting water in these aquariums and putting substrate in there and planting plants. That's two months ago from now. So two months ago, I started setting these up and I still haven't shown anybody because I'm still embarrassed about how they look. In my opinion, they're not great at all. I am gonna show you guys right now, so please don't beat me up in the comments about how terrible my tanks look. Um, but I'm gonna share with you guys three th these three tanks, talk a little bit about what I did, and um, basically just know that they're far from ready, but, and I wouldn't, under normal circumstances, show you these tanks, I'd probably wait a couple more months, but because of the topic today, I'm gonna show you. All right, so we'll start off with this aquarium. This is a 16-gallon uh, uh, glass aquarium that I recently got. Well, not that recent, obviously. I got this in August. Um, but uh, this uh, used to have uh, two 10-gallon aquariums right here that I was using for holding, grow out, quarantine, that kind of thing. Uh, but basically, I want to have more display tanks and less of these kind of tanks that are just kind of quarantine holding tanks. So <clears throat> in this situation, this tank doesn't look great. There's some algae in there, there's stuff on the glass, um, and the plants are not that grown in. Um, there is some uh, Cryptwendetae in there, um, some larger ones from my planet tank back there, um, and then some smaller ones that I got from Aquarium Co-op. There's a uh, Amazon sword in the back. You can see an Anubius there. Um, I don't know what this little plant is, but that was the plant I had. And then um, the dwarf aquarium lily, which is actually one of my favorite uh, plants um, for many reasons, which I'll show you here shortly. But uh, basically, this uh, aquarium I set up, um, I used, uh, I think, uh, fluorite was a substrate. It was quite a mess to clean it and, and strain it and get all the yucky stuff out of it. Um, I did plant uh, root tabs uh, throughout, so there's lots of root tabs in there for the substrate feeders, and I do use a lot of liquid fertilizer uh, in this aquarium, and it's balanced, and it's, well, semi-balanced, I should say. It's cycled, um, and I could add fish in here anytime, but I want these plants to really take off. I want this crypt to do, uh, you know, to grow. Um, I want that Amazon sore to grow a little bit larger and get a little bit bushier. So I'm not putting anything else in here until I get a lot more growth. Um, so again, this is a, an example of, you know, it's okay. The scape is okay. There's some manzanita in there and stuff like that. But this is, you know, 50% of what I want it to look like eventually. Um, and I think I'm going to put some apistos in there. I have a little apisto cave back there. But uh, again, just an example of something that I set up two months ago and it still looks not great. Now at that same time, this is another tank that I set up. This one used to have my um, brackish top hat blennies. I still have them. They moved from a 10 gallon to a 16 gallon, so they're over there now. So this tank, I again, I turned it into a planted tank. Now in this one, the uh, dwarf aquarium lily is doing quite well. The reason why I like these is they grow so fast. You just put the bulb in there and they just take off. And then you get these nice giant leaves that come up to the surface. So I really do like this plant. Um, one of the easiest plants, I think. But again, same thing in this aquarium where I put, you know, root tabs in there. I've got liquid ferts. And some of the plants that are larger, like this, uh, this one there, I think it's like H. Rar or something. Um, that one I had in another aquarium. It was actually floating in my pond outside. And I got some manzanita when I was with Tom Barr. But basically, um, you know, there's lots of little crypts in here. I think like Crypt Parva and other, other little crypts in there that you can see that are just way, way, way tiny, right? So some of them melted back a little bit. Um, so this tank is way far from being ready. Obviously, it's a little bit dirty right now. So again, I'm just kind of letting this tank do its thing. I want the plants to grow. And I probably won't put fish in here again for a couple of months, even though I could put fish in here tomorrow if I wanted. I just don't feel that it looks good enough the way that I want it to look and I want those little plants to start growing and propagating a little bit. So again, 
is okay, but I think it looks kind of bad, but we're a long way from finished. And then lastly, this aquarium here, let me just see if I can fix the lighting. This aquarium here is uh, a tank that I've had for a long time. This is fact, in fact, the oldest aquarium in this room. And basically I just took everything out of it and replanted it. You can see the big giant pogo stemmons, octopus. I'm terrible with plant names, but uh, that's a very fast growing plant. Um, I've got the dwarf aquarium lily in there as well. But again, and I got some smaller swords, but again, I want this tank to really, I want these swords to get larger. There was a bunch of duckweed covering the light before. So I took all the duckweed out. So now these Amazons are doing better. I put some root tabs in there and uh, obviously we've got the aquarium lily doing well, but I want this thing to get a lot denser as well, especially because a number of fish in there, I really want to have a lot of plant growth. So, um, so these three tanks, I wasn't planning on showing you at all. Um, until they were ready to go. But again, because, you know, we're talking about patients, I'm having to have a lot of it right now because we are far from uh, ready with this one. So hopefully uh, you guys didn't kill me in the comments as far as those aquariums. Um, like I said, they're far from ready. I haven't added fish in two of them. One of them, I already had fish in there, obviously. But the other two, I'm not going to add fish until I'm ready, until I feel like the plants are at the level where they can take a little bit of abuse if there's fish that are moving things around. Um, and I just want everything to be established and look the way I hope it to look uh, before I add fish. So that's gonna be quite some while. So that next video of those aquariums probably won't come out until, I don't know, the end of the year or something. And it's definitely gonna be after Thanksgiving, closer to Christmas before I probably add fish in there because they don't look great right now. So. Um, anyway, that is what I wanted to share with you guys. I think that uh, one thing to remember uh, about the hobby and about being patient is that this hobby is not about the destination, meaning it's not about that end result. It's about the journey along the way. And maybe that sounds a little corny, but it really is. It really is about the journey, the process along the way, the education, uh, you know, the passion that we put in, the time that we put in to ultimately get the result that we're looking for. In fact, for me, one of the things that I really enjoy more than anything is tinkering with aquariums and making little changes and doing little things because I always want to improve or tweak or do something different. And when something's done, I kind of get bored. So I'm always kind of looking at little things to improve and little projects. So hopefully this uh, short little video hit home with you guys. And uh, hopefully if you are one of those people that are impatient and want to get things right away, uh, specifically with your aquariums, take your time, take a deep breath, enjoy the journey, enjoy the process. If you see something online, if you see a photo that looks amazing, maybe reach out to that content creator and say, hey, like I saw this tank that you made, uh, and could you tell me, you know, how you set it up? How long did it take you? A lot of us will answer those questions, uh, you know, when we get around to it, if we have the bandwidth. So, um, I would guess that if you see something amazing, they're going to tell you, oh yeah, like I took, it took me six months to do this or whatever. So anyway, if you like this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button. If you like it, um, if you have not done so done so already and if you are this far into the video and if you are not subscribed then please do subscribe to my channel that's all i had for now thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one